What's going on YouTube and welcome back to the channel. If you guys do not know me, my name is Henry Rico from Team Gridlock and today is our card for Vanguard Standard Market Watch, meaning in this video we're only gonna we're only gonna go over cards in standard format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. Now before we begin, remember to comment, like, subscribe, check out our channel our channel for more videos such as um, deck profiles, match videos, more mark watch videos, and more. I do apologize. Last Friday, I did not do a mark watch video for for premium premium format. Uh, there was a convention last Saturday, so I was getting ready for it. So I was a little bit busy. So I do apologize in advance. But today, we're gonna focus only on uh, cards in standard format to see which cards are money, which cards are minus, and which cards are plus. Now, the first set that I want to go over is EBO9, the Raging Tactics. Of course, this set. Uh, if, well, hopefully, the, the video should have been should have been uploaded yesterday because. This video should have been uploaded last Friday, but I was completely busy. Uh, I, I had issues with the video editing it. I was trying a new way to like speed it, like speed up the time frame and everything. So hopefully my case opening is uploaded by yesterday, and you're gonna see how minus I went. I went buying a case of this set because this set, it's not worth it. I paid seven hundred uh, seven hundred and fifty for it, and I'm pretty sure I did not make, did not make my money back. But let's let's see which cards are money money in this set. So the grade three break ride for Mega Colonies, the SPs went down to $21, used to be 30 bucks, but now they're down to $21, while the grade two SP for Tachikazes is still holding its value at 34 to $35. I'm not too surprised about that. Uh, this grade two for, for, for Tachikazes is definitely one of the, one of the best ones. Uh, the SVRs, Megas are at 28 bucks, while Tachi is at 25, 26 bucks, and Spike Brothers is at $18. So again, you can already tell that Spike Brothers are the cheapest, cheapest uh, clan in this set. Uh, the SP grade two for Megas is at 17, 18 bucks. Went down by three bucks. Bad and Dragon, Bad and Dragger, SP is at 17, 18 bucks. Has really changed. The VR for Megas is at 13, 14 bucks. While the VR for Tachis is at 12 to 13 dollars. So we can assume that the VR for Spec Brothers is like eight or eight or seven bucks. Uh, Dark Rex, the SPs are five, five to six bucks. While the VR for Spikes are at ten dollars. So I'm a little bit wrong right there. Uh, the bad SP for the bad SP grade three for Spike Brothers is at six seven bucks, while the great the other grade three for Megas is at three to four dollars. And for triple R's, the most expensive one, which which we already saw the uh, the SP version, is the grade two for Tachis. It's holding its value from four to five bucks. Again, not too surprised that not too surprised that this grade two actually kept its value. Uh, everything else, I'm pretty sure, went down. Uh, the grade two for Spike Brothers is two fifty. Hasn't really changed. Uh, the Break Red grade three actually went down. Used to be three bucks, but now they're down to two bucks and change. Uh, Bad and Draggers are dollar fifty, dollar sixty. While the, the grade two megas, the triple R's, are a dollar and change. Again, this set, <coughs> it's not worth it. If you bought a case of this set, I'm pretty sure you already you already went minus, unless you did like case splits. Uh, Dark Rex, which is a triple R by the way, is barely fifty cents. Damn. And of course, all 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 the double R's are less than twenty cents. Like I said, uh, I bought a case of this set knowing I was gonna go minus, and I did go minus. I spent seven fifty. I pulled the best SP grade two out of this set, the best SP grade three out of this set, which which used to be thirty bucks, but now it's down to twenty bucks. But thank God I got rid of it. For, got rid of it for for thirty dollars. Even if you add up all the SPs, all the SVRs, all the VRs out of the case you got, you're not making your money back. So again, I spent seven seven hundred and fifty uh, on a case of this set, and I still went minus. Now, of course, this grade three, which everyone is still talking about, people are saying, oh, you shouldn't be playing it, oh, you should be playing it, it's the best grade three for Shadow Paladins. Well, it's kind of in demand right now at the moment. Uh, the SPs is only five listings for 60 bucks each, apparently, but the triplars are actually going up in the market. Uh, right now at the moment, they're they're going for a dollar and change and eventually becoming a two to three dollar card. I'm pretty sure it's not gonna become a five dollar card, which it shouldn't become five bucks. But overall, there's actually 20 listings. Of, the, of this card, so I don't think it's in. I mean, it is in demand because usually this card those those uh, thirty or more listings, but now people are actually picking them up. So right now at the moment, there's they're going for a dollar and change. Now of course we have to look at Gansla because last week we saw the price for Gansla, and for some odd reason the VR was more expensive than the SVR. The SVRs finally went up in the market. The, SV, the SVRs are now twenty eight to twenty nine dollars, and the VRs are down to twenty two bucks. So I'm glad to see that people actually looked at, looked at the market and, like, and noticed, why is the VR more expensive than, than the SVR? Now we did talk about this card multiple times in multiple mark watches, but today we finally, we got there. 
So Kick Kick Typhoons, the SP the SPs are still, are still thirty nine to forty dollars, while the triple R's are now up to twelve to thirteen dollars with only four listings left. Guys, we've been watching this card for a while now, and for the last few market watches, this card was eight to nine to seven or five bucks, but now they're officially past the ten dollar range and kick kick typhoons are now value with only four listings so if you guys haven't picked up your kick kick typhoons that's ten dollars right there now someone told me about this and i kind of didn't believe it someone told me oh my god the grade one demolition dragon for narukami's is up in the market so i checked it and they actually are apparently they're going for a dollar and change the dollar and change for two for one listing after that three dollars and there's only five listings for the rare for this rare de demolition dragon but if you actually look at the market, if you actually look it up, the, the Demolition Dragon, the congratulations one, the 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 full board, the, the no border, I guess, basically it's a higher rarity. They're going for dollars each. There's actually multiple listings for dollars and change, dollars each, and then eventually dollar and change. So if you guys actually think that this rare, this rare, this uh, rare grade one is actually worth it. Look up the other version. It's cheaper. Another rare that I want to go over is this rare grade one from the Matamas. It is actually gaining value. And I noticed it when people when someone did a buyout on my copies for a dollar each. I had 18 copies of this card online. And someone actually bought them all for a dollar each. Now there's only nine listings. Again, there is one, two, three. There's three listings for, for less than two bucks after that. We're looking at two dollars and more now we just got more information about great natures that we're gonna get and so far great natures look really amazing they look fun people cannot wait to, to pick up great natures but the great natures that we already have right now are actually going up the market finally i'm so happy so the svr for leopolds are now 30, 35 to 40 bucks with only two listings uh Himiko's svrs are 20 bucks uh, all right so guys if you guys are still if you guys are looking to play genesis in the future Technically, you don't need any of any of the old Genesis cards from from this set. A lot of people are still picking up Genesis cards, which they shouldn't be, in my opinion. I, I mean, and if you do, try to pick them up for dirt cheap because there's no point. Because I can guarantee you that a lot of cards in this set are not going to be used, and a, a few cards in this set for our Genesis are definitely going to get reprinted. Uh, the Origin Rare for Lost Legends are still uh, 19 to 22 bucks, and by Knockless Tigers, the Origin Rare, there's only one listing left. For less than $20, after that, we're looking at $20 each with only six listings. So, Monoculus Tiger, the Origin Rares, are definitely going up in the market. Uh, Leopold, the VRs are $17, $18 bucks with only eight listings. Not too surprised about that. <clears throat> and let's see what else we can find. Like I said, guys, Great Natures, just, we just got more information about Great Natures, and people are picking them up. Uh, Lost Legends, the Triple R's are about 9 to 10 bucks, And Binoculus Tiger, finally is now at 11 to 12 dollars with only seven listings each the bio is real but knockless tigers is gaining value broken now this perfect guard which i've been saying multiple times do not pick it up it's not worth eight dollars it's not worth seven or five or six dollars this perfect guard for genesis is getting reprinted in the trial deck please do not buy this perfect guard for more than five bucks it is not worth it uh, let's see confined. Hamscades are five, five to six bucks. And Cable Sheep, this perfect guard, which always used to be like two bucks and change, is now officially five to six dollars with only eight listings. So you guys can already tell that people are already getting on the Great Nature, uh, Great Nature hype train, and Great Nature's right now, right now at the moment are gaining value. Uh, even Monoculus Tigers, this double R, Grade One, which, which used to be a dollar, then eventually became a two dollar card ever since people found out that, found out the new combo. With uh, Zoa, Monaco Tiger, and uh, the Rhino. But now, Monaco Tiger is gonna be amazing in standard format. And right now, at the moment, there's only 10 listings for four bucks each. Four bucks and change. So, you guys can already tell, people are getting on the great, the great intro hype train. And the last set that I wanna talk about, EBO1, the Destructive Roar. This set was going up in value, it was, go it was climbing up the ladder, gaining value. It was going up. A lot of cards in, in this set were, were gaining value. But, They've been slowly dropping and dropping and dropping and dropping. And they plateaued because we just got the new extra booster for with Tachi's, Megas, and Spike Brothers. Alright, so the SVR for Spike for Spike Brothers is at 22 bucks, and the SVR for Gigarexes are now 17 to 18 bucks. It used to be 20 bucks, but now that actually went down. Uh, the SVR for Megas is at 16, 16, 17 bucks, while the origin for Ty Tyrant and Defrex are now eight, eight to ten dollars. 
that's actually pretty sad but this is actually the most this is this actually surprised me a lot the orange rare for juggernaut maximums are now five to seven dollars each that is so sad this orange rare used to be used to be 15 to 20 bucks but now barely six dollars uh, the great team of shitty mantis are, are apparently still nine bucks each um the orange rare stag beetles are five six bucks while the vr gig rexes are now back down to ten dollars that is so sad um, the VF Respect Brothers, that's six, seven bucks. Again, this set just, it just destroyed itself in value. Uh, the VF for Megas, that's four, four bucks and change. The PGs for Megas, that's four bucks. Uh, Mega Rexes, are, the Triple R Grade 2 is at four bucks and change. Spike Bouncers is barely three bucks and change. Uh, Juggernaut Maximums are two bucks. And the Perfect Guard for, for Spike Brothers is barely two dollars. So that's the end of our Mark Watch for, for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did enjoy the video, please hit the thumbs up. Leave a comment down below. I leave. I love reading your comments. I love replying to your comments. So leave a comment down below. And of course, hit the bell button for notifications because YouTube overlords do not want you guys to know us to know that we exist. Team Braylock does exist. So hit the bell button. And today's market watch was actually pretty spicy. Great natures are up in the market. People are picking them up. My knockless tigers are definitely money. My knockless tigers are definitely money. So, great natures hype train it is real and of course we just found more rare more rare grade ones that are actually value the demolition dragon and stealth rogue of night shakura fubi fubiki i don't know how to say his name i'm sorry i do apologize but yes so those are those those are prices are definitely spicy remember to com comment like subscribe and i will see you guys tomorrow actually tomorrow is going to be our carver vanguard premium rec watch yeah deuces